I'm Hallie, this is Schoolboy Q. Q, are you ready to play some golf? Yes, I am. Okay, well this is a little bit different edition of On the Tee. We're playing five holes instead of three because we are at a par three course. The lakes at Top Golf El Segundo, beautiful scenery. The rules are pretty much the same. It's a point for a green, point for an up and down, five points for a birdie, a million points for a hole in one, and of course, we can give each other points whenever, wherever, for whatever reason. So I'm okay. gonna give you two points off the bat because those are very cool Jordans. Hey, okay, so <laughs> I give you five for the jacket. Oh my, five, yeah. wow, okay, you must be very confident then. No, not even, I'm just, the <laughs> jacket just, is sick. I okay, I appreciate <laughs> that, thank you. Okay, well then I'll up it to five as well because they're, <laughs> okay. you gotta make it even. Okay. This, is, this is a very friendly match. Uh, Schoolboy Q, you are on the tee. Oh. All right, pretty so, good. Uh, we ain't mad at that. We nice take the start. Wow, all right. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe. Can I take some points back? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I was way too generous. Let's go. Oh, that's butter. She gonna do me like that. Sit, sit, sit. She gonna do me okay. like that. <laughs> I had to, I had to. I didn't know you were you were gonna come to play so much. I was that, like, was oh. a, that was butter. So cute, tell me how you got introduced to the game of golf. My friend June made a bet that I couldn't make a birdie in two years. And I did that the third time I ever played. Wow. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I was hooked ever since. Like literally, I didn't know anything about the game besides Tiger Woods and Arnold Palmer. Right, that was because it. Because it was like the drink and Tiger Woods, obviously. Right. And I knew, yeah, Phil, and I'm like, but I didn't know who, nothing about golf. Mm-hmm. So but I just got into it and I just YouTubed everything, got into this rabbit hole, learned how to play. This dude named Casey Lum pretty much taught me how to play golf from nothing. Mm. And I haven't left the course since, <laughs> like literally. What was your perception of golf before you got into it? Corny, um, slow. No, not athletes, mm. and it's completely the opposite. It's like everything that I thought it was is like not it. It's like literally the hardest sport I ever played in my life. Right? It's like, so and I played a lot of sports, and this is the hardest one, <laughs> the most humbling this one. Like, nothing humbles me more than shoot thinking you about to play well, you birdie the first hole, and then shooting a, a thousand for <laughs> right. the rest of the round. Fair. You know? Well, I mean, you said it's the hardest sport, but. You're about <laughs> 20 feet from the pin, so you're pretty good. <laughs> we got some birdie attempts here. You might be closer. Here. You might be closer. We I'm got pretty some, sure. We got some five pointers potentially right here. Let's see. Let's see. So you said your friend June bet you the, that you couldn't make a birdie when he brought up. How did you guys get on the topic of golf? What was your response to it him? It was on TV. We were in the studio, mm -hmm. and we were, and I was working on a record, and I like things like to move while I'm in the uh, studio, like the TV screen, whether it's a movie or something. I don't like watching news or stuff like that. I like watching like creative people creating. And I just saw golf and I was like, this is not fitting for what I'm making right now. Like turn this, turn this off, like get it off the screen. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And that's when he pretty much checked me like, nah, this is the toughest sport ever. And I guarantee you. But he just thought, you know, it's a whole process. Like you gotta buy clubs, you gotta have the outfit. He thought I was never gonna even start. Literally the next day, I like started. Like, You're like, okay, bet. From watch. the studio to there, I'm like, bro, I play baseball. You can't tell me I can't hit a ball. Like, I'm sitting still. Wow. And it was still a lot harder than you expected. Way harder than I expected. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still trying to get good at this game, and I just haven't got good at it yet. Well, I would beg to differ. This is pretty good, <laughs> but let's see if we can make these. Let's see. <laughs> I really wanted to make that. That's outside of the circle of friendship. I want to give it. I no, no, no. It <laughs> Man, I thought I saw your ball and I was like, okay, they're super slow, so I'm going to rip it. That was a bad, bad call on my part. Oh, man. Oh, man, three putt on the first. Good, good, good. 
I feel like oh, good. I never subtract points, but I feel like I have to subtract one because no. that is that is not okay. <laughs> Second hole, I'm down one because I whacked my first putt by and three putted. Cue your honor. Oh, see? Uh, come back, please. Come back. No. <laughs> I was the right line. <laughs> Oh, that's saucy. Get in the hole. Okay, I'll How take it. See, <laughs> she chose, see. <laughs> hey, we're both dry. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Q, I heard you say in an interview that golf has taught you a lot about yourself. I'm curious, what exactly has it taught you? That I was lazy, that I would never put a lot of effort into a lot of things, that I run from things when it get hard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, who you are on the golf course is who you are in real life, honestly. Yeah. You know, you throw temper tantrums, like, and you suck, and you know you suck, you're still throwing temper tantrums, that's who you are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you make excuses when you know you suck already, like, I start checking these boxes, like, oh, and I just start realizing, like, things that I was doing wrong, like, never fully gave effort into a lot of things. Mm. Or, you know, I would, gravitate to the things I'm good at and run from the things that I'm not so good at, it hurts you in the long run in your life because sometimes you just can't run from everything. For sure. And yeah. how how has golf helped you grow as a person in, in those areas? Hitting this bad shot, <laughs> taking my medicine. <laughs> you I know like what I mean? It. Seeing this water, being scared, and then doing what I said I was going to do. This mm -hmm. water scared me. It's a 70-yard shot, yard shot, you know what I mean? Just like right. just hit the ball. but Just hit the ball. I like it. I'm, All right. I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> you can get this up and down. Let's see. Let's see. I'm either about to look nasty or ugh, nasty. You got this. Let's see. All right. It's a tricky shot. Oh, that's too hard. Slow down. Get in Sit. the hole, Lee. Hit the hole. Settle. Settle. Oh. I mean, that's pretty good. We're going to take those. That's pretty We're gonna good. <laughs> We're going to take those. We're nice gonna take shot, those. Q. I got a putt. I got a putt, I got a putt, I got a putt. Stop. Give it to her. Stop. Oh man, I got some work left there too. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's All right, good. you're good. Okay. Oh. All right, so we are all square, 6-6, six, six. my honor. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check oh, her out. Oh, man. Sit. Oh, sit. Okay, point, I'll take it. How you just go? That was a little, I hit a little thin. <laughs> I, she just doing me dirty. <laughs> oh, the other way. Settle. That's all right. It's a point. Oh. That's all that matters. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Safe play. Let's see. Let's green. see. Let's see. I didn't know I was playing against a, a damn PGA champion. <laughs> no, LPGA champion. Definitely not. So Q, I've got to ask you a little bit about your creative process. What comes first? Is it is it the lyrics or is it the beat? It's the the feeling. I don't know. It's just a feeling when you wake up and you're like, oh, it's time. Like, I'll put an album out and then I'll just be dead for a little bit. And then it just hits me and I'm like, oh, it's time. And then I call the guys up, we get in the studio and it's literally both. I may have lyrics already in my head or sometimes they may have a beat. And um, conversation in the studio is also good too. You know, where we at in life, basically. We just, not necessarily we like where we at in life, but it's just like, just talking with your homie. Mm. And then the topic may be a song that we just end up talking about in the, st the studio, you know? So, can you uh, life experiences. Life experiences. Can you draw any similarities between like the process of writing a song and then just, I guess, the process of like getting better at golf and improving your game and just refining your, your craft? The thing with music is, it's kind of opposite. I feel like the more time you take off, the better you get. Mm. Um, but when you're in there, you have to go hard. You have to dedicate 100% of your time to music. 
But when you're out of there, you need to try to wrench your brain away from that so you can get these experiences and be aware, self-aware of what's everything that's going on. And you can put this in your music. Like music with no substance or music with no actual life experiences is like, to me, it's just a bunch of sound, hmm. you know? Will we ever get any songs with any golf references potentially ever? Oh yeah, my last album, I had one. Okay. Um, this album, I got a couple. Ooh, okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'll keep an eye yeah, on yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm rooting for you to make this in this very go. serious competition. Uh, oh, uh, cute! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like he just got punched um, or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can make that. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> that was very <sighs> painful. <laughs> Break? Nope. That's good. Okay, thank you. extra three points for that because that was an incredible par save. <laughs> wow, okay, that was awesome. <laughs> Penultimate hole, I am down three because of that insane par save by Q. You're ready, your honor. <laughs> Okay, uh, transferred up and down. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. That went so high. Y'all set me up. Sit, sit, no. <laughs> Y'all set me up. So Q, I've had the chance of getting to see you perform and I've talked yeah. to you a couple of times. You're a super chill dude, but it's funny because when you're on stage, yeah. You're so in the zone, yeah, like you're yeah, just yeah. a different guy up there. So I'm curious, what is your pre-show routine? Like, what do you do to get ready to, to perform in front of thousands of people? One, I have bad, like uh, I found out that I had this um, anxiety thing mm -hmm. once I started getting into music and stuff. And um, so before a show, I just yell possibly as loud as I can. Like right before I go on stage, I may like, ah! Like just, just scream as loud as I can, punch a wall. Like not a super hard wall, yeah. but I like boom, 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 just hit a door or something, just hit chest bump my manager or something. And it is just like, I'm an entertainer. My music is this energy, bring this energy. And I can go back to what I'm, you know, what I do. But for me personally, it's just, I just gotta yell and just get that blood going. A couple drinks maybe. Um, but most importantly, just, Giving, giving back to the fans that put me in this position that helped me get to here is like, they want to see that, they want to feel that energy. And it's like being up there with like 30 people on stage and just doing this and just like, all right. Right. It's kind of like lame, you know what I mean? So I like, I just like the energy. I just love the vibe when I'm on stage. Cause like you said, I'm a quiet dude, really. Mm -hmm. Not really that social, really. So like when I'm up there, it's just like that, that mental illness that I have where my mind just has this block when I get around people. Sometimes I get into a shell and um, it just lets out. And then I get that energy back and it's just like, I don't know, it's just like something I've always been wanting since a kid, you know? After a show, are, is it draining or are you hyped extremely, up? Extremely, extremely. Yeah, because I'm sure it takes a lot of emotional energy to Sometimes put Sometimes after a show, I'm like so drained, I can't sleep. Wow. Like sometimes after a show, I'm so drained I can't like uh, hold a conversation. Mm. It's bad sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, like I don't even tour a lot because it's like it's so much energy, mm -hmm. and I come home and I and I have to take like six months off. Wow. 
And I just sit in the house for like six months after tour. Just to recharge. Like not just to recharge, yeah. What about golf? Is that a, a, a thing that helps you recharge or is that also? I'm normally like extremely bad when I come back. Like, you know, I take these big breaks from golf and I'm, or I'm super in it. I'm like playing every day or I'm not playing at all. Mm. So when I'm not playing at all, I come back and I try to like, like I'm doing now, I'm trying to find it. But, you know, I am who I am. <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah. I can make all these excuses. Yeah. You know, when at my best, I'm a nine handicap at my best. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is so, pretty good. I, I, I play to it about every two years. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, get there. Wow. Oh, get there. More. Nice. Pretty good. We'll take it though. You hear me? We'll take it though. You hear me? So what about, I know we talked about performing on stage. I know you've played at Pebble Beach and the AT&T pro -Am. Oh my God. <laughs> How was that? I mean, what are the nerves? Any nerves so, at all? I'm never nervous when I'm out there until I'm on the first tee. It's the most like, I mean, I went to the Grammys knowing I was going to lose and I, <laughs> but some part of me was like, oh, and I might win. And, and I was more nerve wracking at, Pebble Beach first tee than I was at the Grammys or any show I've ever done in my life. Wow. And I done done shows in front of 50,000 people. Like, I've been in New Zealand where I'm performing in front of like this, like this island, like, like people rarely, they barely get concerts and it's like the whole New Zealand there and it's like no pressure at all. It's like, let's get it. Boom. I do, it's like 30 people right here looking at me like this and they're like, oh, schoolboy Q and everybody just like, <laughs> you sitting there like, oh my God, dude. It's like, <laughs> all you can remember is the shank or the whatever you did and you go up there. But I always ace my first shot so far. The first two years I done ace my tee shots. Wow. Every time. Wow. And that's Clutch. around, you know, we barely make the cut, but we really don't make the cut. But, that's awesome though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, go! Give it to her. Mm. Oh, that's All right. good. Counts as an up and down. You in these pars? A lot of pars. It's just so easy. A lot of pars. It's so easy. All right, you got this. So easy for you. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> that's okay. It was a good try. Ah. Really good try. <laughs> All right, one more. We talked about AT&T, uh -huh. and I know that you played alongside Macklemore. You guys yeah. are boys. My boy. I feel like you and him really were at the forefront of this wave of celebrities kind of jumping into golf. And I'm, oh, yeah. I, I'm curious, why do you think, specifically for artists, what do you think about golf attracts um, singers and songwriters and rappers. 12 hours a day in the studio. You, 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 you kind of insane. Mm. Boom, 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 loud. And you kind of go insane. This is like, you know what I'm saying? Nice break. Yeah, you get to go outside. Everything is like inside in the studio. You get no sun. You see nothing. 12 mm. hours in there. I'm a daytime worker, so I go in at daytime. By the time I'm out, it's like dark. Right. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's, well, that's why you got to find more golf courses with lights like this one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be here a lot. <laughs> Top Golf didn't bring me on for me to just be sitting around. Oh, I keep, yeah, yeah, where your brother at? <laughs> that was really solid. <laughs> All right, you can get that up and down. And then you just butter pecan every time. Get go, in the hole. Go. Go. Oh go. my God. Okay, a little short. Oh, uh, give me some. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Q, I gotta ask you, What's as up? an avid golfer, what is something you would like to change about the game? Uh, people acting like it's a, a rich sport. Like this type of course, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with, you know, having cheap clubs? What's wrong with having cheap balls? I wanna make golf fun for everybody, you know right. what I'm saying? Because when I first came into golf, 
people were super uppity to me and like just rude and just like just had this thing. Slowly but surely, I mean, I feel like people like yourself are helping to actually make that change because they might be used to just seeing an older white dude and thinking that's what a golfer is, where it's like, yeah. no, golfers can be women, people of color. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Not, it doesn't have to be just like this exclusive uppity club, like you said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They are they think like, oh, you play golf, you retired. Like, what do you mean I retired? I also play video games. <laughs> I also, you know, I go with my kids and play soccer at the at the park. Other sit, way? Sit, oh. sit, sit. Going with the wedge? I'm going to go with the wedge. Okay. I'm going to make it interesting, man. Let's make it fun. Because you, you you won, man. <laughs> it, it's over. Kobe. Go! Hey, you gave it a run. You gave it a run. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, she man. got me! I lost. All right. Make this. I lost. You won. Okay. I, I, All surrender. Right. Fair I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> I surrender. Oh, you cute. won. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was you. so much Thank fun. You,